Greetings everyone. Welcome back to our home. Thank you for being here today. It's just gonna be me, Peggy Lou, talking about what I decided to do for our dining room and kitchen decor. It is Christmas Day and it's almost seven o'clock at night. I've been working on cleaning things up. My sister was here two nights and she left this morning, late this morning. So we had a good time and I made a roast beef dinner for us. So she got some leftovers and we got some leftovers. I hope your Christmas and Christmas Eve were both very blessed days. I'm sorry to be late, but I guess I just probably took on a little too much with the kitchen in particular. I think you'll find some of the changes fun out there. It is pouring rain out. It is 51 degrees here in the Twin Cities area. Just crazy, huh? I have on the smaller size tablecloth than what we could use on our table that I found at a Hutchinson Main Street Antiques and you saw it in a video Norm was holding it up for me it isn't perfect but the graphics on it just kind of blew me away I've never seen this tablecloth before I think it's really, really pretty. Norm thought it was pretty neat too, and it was only $7.50, $7.95, something like that. What a steal, we thought. I was hoping to maybe try some Lucite candles in these old Holly Lucite candle holders that we found last year with the bouquet. I could have put the bouquet in the middle, but I didn't really think much about it, and it is packed away. Last year when we found these candle holders, it was actually a whole set, and I can't remember where it was, but it was a very, very good prices for what they are and their age. I'm assuming 60s but this is a, a very pretty candy dish that is by Empoli. I did do a YouTube short on one that was for sale in Waite Park, Minnesota at the Salvage Sisters. We like shopping there and I was surprised to see it because you just don't see this very often. It is um, pretty valuable now. Uh, I didn't know that when I found it in Hutchinson, Minnesota. Quite a few years ago, I paid $12 or 14. I just can't remember, but it was only in the low teens that it was priced and I thought Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> I assumed it was vintage and I just figured anything that's made like that, you know, for that kind of price was ridiculous way back then. But I wasn't using Google Lens at that time to look up anything, so I didn't know what it was until last year. And I was pretty happy to find out that it was actually by Empoli. So I'm very fortunate to have decided to snatch that up at the Main Street Antique Shop uh, in Hutchinson, Minnesota. I did not show these old Santa candles in the living room on the mantle with the brass deer candle holders I didn't have room and they are very very tall so if you want to see how I displayed them I did have them on the buffet several years back they're so cute with their long pointed beard and they do have nice texture 
I was fortunate to find these many, many years ago and paid little to nothing for them at a thrift store. So I found a wallpaper to put on the TV so it wasn't going through a lot of different photographs that sometimes aren't necessarily the colors that I want, like a lot of blue. I would prefer to keep the Christmas colors, but I thought he was pretty cute. So we can go over there and see what else I did. I have shared these with you before. I found them many years ago and tied the nylon thread to them so I could hook them on our Lucite light. I have shared that many times and the, the foliage that Norm will get up there and put on it that's fruity. Yeah, there's a better look. A lot of fruit on it up there. It is hard to see. I'm too short. So, we'll go check out and see if there's anything new over here on the wall. I really, really had fun this year. I just kind of went nuts over candy apothecaries or fancy candy dishes like the ginger jar was the first ginger jar I found and that's leftover Halloween candy that Norm loves and my sister loves that too I'm not so big on it but so that was the smaller ginger jar and I'll show you what I did with the larger ginger jar behind me on the kitchen counter what I did with that and that was, what, $3 or something like that at that Shalom thrift store. So you did see that in my thrift haul video. I love the one in the back left. It is huge. It's beautifully ornate. I think I might have found it for like $5 at the Goodwill. I was so shocked. It is old. All of these are old. And they're just beautiful. So I filled it full of some fun candy and I got these two wooden Mr. and Mrs. at the Hutchinson store again, Main Street Antiques, and you did see them if you watched that video. It was considered a thrifting video too because we were also in the... Uh, Hutchinson Auxiliary Thrift Shop where I had found that $3 Viking Amberina fairy lamp that I was so excited about. So if you watch that video, that's where I found this adorable hand-painted pair for $5, I believe. I thought that was a fabulous deal. I also want to show you two new mice down here. Actually, there's three new mice to the right. I had these two little skating mice fall down, go boom, for quite a few years now. They're home co. So I thrifted those and then I just found these at some of the thrift stores too. Uh, really surprised. I didn't know there were more of those brown mice. But when I saw these two in Waite Park at the Salvage Sisters, I thought, oh, now those two are really Christmassy. I just love their scarves and that big candy cane. They really are adorable. So I thought, okay, they're going to make my other two look really nice because you know they're not that Christmassy the skaters and that was from Family Pathways the little mouse and that was in a video too there in Lindstrom Minnesota that that was a very great thrift thrifting day because I found the tiny little mice um, candle huggers yeah so that was a wonderful day and that's where I found that tiny mouse so I did share that I had these teapots one on each side last year 
and all of the other items in there are from last year. I have four of these little Christmas mice that I'd had for a couple years now probably. But I was showing you in a thrift haul that I picked up this tray at possibly Bibles for Missions, which is now Legacy Thrift. They sell them for like 99 cents. But that uh, Christmas tree one, which is shaped exactly the same, and I knew that they were the size that would fit in the, the hutch here. I love it if I can light up the back of the hutch with something white. And you may have caught videos of mine where I've actually had vintage white melt glass square plates back there that were very open on the edges, lacy like. So I think that really adds to what's in the hutch. The scene makes a scene with the Christmas tree. I thought that was really fun. So this is new. It's a little plastic, um, probably is the Elf on the Shelf, I'm guessing. I know he's new, made in China, but he was so cute and so cheap. Norm and I both really seem to like bright, crisp plastic things like that. Like the um, soldier that was mechanical, battery operated, I mean, playing music in our living room video that we had. That's a Fitz and Floyd teapot that I was thrilled to find. And his hat is a cup. Yeah, he's got a little holly on the side. But yeah, you can see the handle back there. I guess I should have twisted that around better so you could have seen that it was a cup. So he's pretty special to me. Now, I have shared these, all of these six sets of Japan salt and peppers. I've had them on the kitchen shelving for several years that I started collecting them. I wasn't really looking them for them much in previous years because they can be expensive, but I I found all of uh, them, like these two especially, they were singles, so they were at the thrift stores, not in an antique mall. They're adorable together. I wish I had the partner to the snow girl, though. She's so cute. And I know what Mr. Claus looks like that goes with her. I've seen that set. But these two with the fur beards, I've had those Santas for many, many years. So I was... I might have even thrifted them. I just don't recall. The egghead ones are from my brother's house. He actually gave them to me many years ago. And I did find these two pairs very, very reasonable in Antique Mall. So that's what is there. And we'll go look on the top of the hutch. These sweet angels look much nicer without the camera light on. They have a nice warmer glow in just the evening light. So I've had all of these except two for quite a few years. Thrifted all of them. This is a new one and I did show it in a video of the Hutchinson Antique Mall when I found the wood Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I also decided to buy this one. I think she was like $7, but I I don't know. I, I thought that was really a good deal because she's very different than all the others that I found. And she is heavier, so she's more like ceramic. This girl is ceramic. It's a hobbyist piece. This one is more chalkware. And I've had this for a very long time. Oh, that is 
more ceramic. Yeah, she's heavy. So I don't really want to light her candle. It's pretty nice that she still has her full candle in there, never lit. Now this one, I've shared this um, soft plastic angel tree topper. So she's open on the bottom with sort of a small hole in order to be able to push it on top of a tree top stem. So she's Hong Kong, and I'm sorry to be getting my own shadow on her there. Yeah, she's a, an old tree topper, Japan. Or, well, she could be Hong Kong, yeah. Now I just found her, and I'm already forgetting where. I know we went somewhere, and that's kind of all I got. But I thought she was so Funny. I just love her expression. I love her funny nose and little tiny beady eyes. And the fact that it was pink and red mixed together is very little, but I think she's adorable. And I have shared her before too. Up here, I did decide to put some wreaths, little ones, take down some of my plates. Well, I've shared this one before with you. I love it because it's so little. I just love finding little tiny wreaths instead of, you know, always really big ones. And I just thrifted this one. Thought it was so cute. That was, I think, did I just get that at um, the Family Pathways? Yeah, I'll have to look up the price and put it on the bottom because I just can't remember all of these. But isn't that adorable? I just love the calico prints. So cute. So I just pressed the bow because the bow had gotten a little, a little frumpy looking. I did not soak it. I decided not to. It looked very, very clean for one thing. Most things I wash, but I didn't. I decided not to wash that one. I think it's fine. So I have shared this adorable little couple of kids. I assume that's supposed to be a little guy in the Santa suit. They're Taiwan bisque. I found them at a thrift store too. I do try to thrift most everything that I decide to purchase unless in an antique mall it's kind of special and it's a really good price. The deer I have several <laughs> way more than several I should say I have quite a few sets of the tiniest deer that are so cute the Kimple um, Softies is another name. They call these Kimple deer molds that hobbyists have painted and done such a wonderful job. So I didn't have room for a lot of them on any one shelf, so I did split them up a little bit. I think it's kind of fun to have a little deer with them. I think that looks cute. Now down here... I just found her. Norm took me back up north to a family pathways in North Branch, Minnesota that is a big store. It was, I think, like last Tuesday. I knew that all of their Christmas was 50% off. So I no more and walked in the store and looked at one bookcase and then moved to a second bookcase that was bigger looked way down on the bottom shelf and here she was I was so excited I got my phone out right away and I wanted to do a one minute video she's not as fancy as the one I used to have what I should do is put a picture in here of the one that I used to have. I'll put it to the left. 
many years ago and I'm so sorry that I let her go because oh my goodness she was really really fancy if you think this gal sweet angel is fancy I was very surprised when I just looked today for the picture of my old one the price tag on her was 250 so I got her for $1.25 I was so thrilled I hope you really think she's sweet too I just I know all these things are gonna be hard to store right but Norm and I are gonna have to go to Target tomorrow and get some bins okay what's over here I have had all of these items here that I've shared with you before I love the plastic canvas mr. and mrs. They are just adorable. Her holding a fruit cake. Uh, these two are, I think, a little. Are they? Yep, they're a salt and pepper set. Oh, they are so tiny, it's crazy. Really tiny. And here's another one of the nice Japan salt and pepper sets that I found at Antiques Minnesota in like Burnsville, Minnesota. I get to go there once in a while. It's a big place. And I bought like three sets of vintage Japan salt and peppers uh, at least two Christmases ago. So I have shared them with you before, but I thought this set was really, really sweet. Very fun. So. I've had all those salt and pepper sets out on the kitchen shelving in previous years, but since I put up all these little shelves in here, I was hoping, you know, to use them for all these smaller figurines and try to just keep more dishes out there. So this is um, a set for me of three a little bigger ones the ones over or the the one over to my left that I just showed was much smaller but these are the next size up still pretty small but I still was very happy to find them and I believe these two little girls are new for me this year I may have found those at the Goodwill I was pretty happy I have seen them in other people's videos and I know that typically home co has a set of three so somebody probably broke one of them they're beautifully made their eyes are just beautiful yep and the little Christmas tree there was one down below here also the same that is a set of bells that I bought a couple Christmases ago so that's what's there and two boots Santa boots I'm sure you've seen for sure the one on the left I can't tell you a whole lot about it it's most likely Japan and I'm not remembering for sure about this one if it's hobbyist the one on the right I just got for like $3 from the Hutchinson Antique Mall that I purchased quite a few things because they have such great deals there. So I got that from a very sweet lady named Barb that we got the tablecloth from. Yep, that was from Barb and I'll show you some other things from the kitchen that was from Barb's booth too. She has wonderful stuff. and. We've been purchasing things from her since she sold things on her farm. She, what she say, 11 years ago? Or I forget, in the video I did explain talking to her how many years ago it was. And you saw me thrift these adorable angels. Are they bells too? I think they were bells. Another pair of home co. Maybe there was a third one. But these were at the Family Pathways in... St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, and a little cake topper soft plastic tree there. 
to yeah I just thought they were super super sweet and so so inexpensive so you saw in my video what I paid for them oh and here's another fun tiny little wreath of the melted plastic popcorn I almost forgot to take this lovely poinsettia plate out of storage in the basement because it's not packed away in my Christmas things. It's on shelving with miscellaneous decorative milk glass plates. And there is something new here. This was also at the Salvage Sisters in Wade Park, Minnesota, which is very close to St. Cloud or it's a suburb of St. Cloud. I'm not really sure, but this set was from that place and a very nice lady. I bought several things from her because she had such wonderful prices. So I do not recall where these were made or what their age is. I would have to try to look on the bottom, see if we can see anything. Nope, can't see anything, but they could be, they could be uh, Japan. They kind of seem like that to me. I wanted you to see her gift in back, so that's why I have her turned towards him quite a bit. So this is such an adorable set because they really, really did a lot of the little tiny holly berry print on them. Looks like one of them is missing its bell, the one lying down, so. But I think they did an excellent job painting them. I could find some bells and tiny ribbon and add something like that, or just a bow, I could do that too. But it doesn't matter to me. This month, I thrifted a lot of candy jars and mostly pretty apothecaries or candy jars with finials on them. I just love those. But I just found this one so cheap. I couldn't believe it. It's quite the larger size. So I think it's only two two of the sections down where it separates right there where the top is like two two rows of boughs but you can stuff that full of candy and then try to stick them together so you can get it all the way up that's what I like to do and I just found him I had him years ago but gave him away and then silly me I turn around and see him at a thrift store family pathways and thrift them again. Now, you saw me find these three mice, really, really inexpensive, at Lindstrom, Minnesota Family Pathways, so I did decide to get them. They are home coal, and I'm not real sure what's going on here. It looks, this is a like a paintbrush he's holding, the one on the right. So, it looks like he's painted a treat because the one holding the treat is licking his lips and the little girl seems very pleased so I really don't know what's going on with them and maybe there's a mouse missing too I really don't know but like I say it it is typical of home co to have three things and he was an odd one I have a set of three of this particular style home co elf and they're all doing different things making different things but I did not have this one and it was at a thrift store so but he didn't fit on the shelf with all the elves I had out there in the front entrance it was full already aren't these pretty uh, that is the newest one that Norm just got for me I think they had it marked maybe 9.95 at the Hutchinson Antique Mall when we were 
having a blast <laughs> shopping there. But it is uh, a bigger size than this one here I thrifted, I think. It's hard to tell, but one of my favorites is this from several years back, the skinny one. Oh, that is so skinny. So that is something I just kind of really got into the candy dishes this year. I just think it's very sweet. Norm says that I keep forgetting to show our fun mood lighting on the ivy up there. I got the crazy idea many, many years ago that I wanted to hang ivy up there. And we've had different kinds. The first one was heavier, and I decided I didn't like it. And it was more like your silk plants look, because it was so long ago. They didn't have these wonderful, delicate plastic ones. But at the same time, I said, you know, it would be really fun to just see if we could find some soft little lights. It's got a remote, of course. So it's just something that Norm likes to put on early in the mornings, especially during the winter months when he gets up and it's still dark out for quite a while. He just likes the fireplace on with these. And that's fine. I'm glad he's using them. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that too for a change. I haven't shown him for quite a while. Well, here's those bells that I thrifted for, I don't know, what were they ridiculous amount at the uh, Shalom was at 70 cents for those bells. It's something crazy. And I did show you that in that video, my thrifting video, that um, I was planning on putting them up here. So I had already done that. And I love it. And I also love all these old popcorn garland strands. I have so many of them, you wouldn't believe it. I don't know why I kept picking them up at thrift stores or whatever. So I have way too much popcorn strands. I sold three of the candy blow mold ones uh, a couple Christmases ago when we started selling a lot of Norm's lit hard plastic 50s lighted Santas and things like that. Isn't this cute? I found this at Wild Vintage Collective and I believe it was in Jennifer's booth. Jennifer's booth is called Pearls and a Paintbrush. I thought this was so neat, but I'm gonna try taking the light off because it seems kind of dark, the um, holly leaves. Nope, it didn't change, but they're a real Christmas green. They're not this dark. Phone doesn't like this either. So I don't know which looks best to you, but I thought this was adorable. Norm thought this is pretty cool too. I have never seen this pattern before, have you? I was talking earlier about the large ginger jar that we just found for $3 at the Shalom thrift store. I had showed you in the Hutch base where I had put candy in the smaller size one that I found at Goodwill earlier this year. But it wasn't but a couple weeks back that I happened to find this really big one. And I had also found for a dollar a whole bag of these um, C7s. Yeah, they were at the Hutchinson Auxiliary Thrift Store. So that's what I had in mind, and I didn't know at the time when I bought the bulbs that I was going to find this really big vintage ginger jar for $3. That was crazy. I've shown you my Santa cookie jar that's uh, considered a blow mold for quite a few Christmases now. It's a pretty common cutesy cookie jar that... A lot of people have. I store some of the refrigerator magnets of gingerbread boys and other 
cute cookie ornaments that I've thrifted for many, many years and just love adding to my crazy collection for the refrigerator. So I store them in there and a couple of ice buckets. I just last month thrifted this really sweet vintage little runner at Legacy Thrift. It was only like maybe $2.49. I thought that was a very good deal. It was hard for me to pass it up. So this craft is different than all the ones that I have up on the top of the shelving. There's not room for one more, but it's because it has white paint on it. All of the others that are up there have gold paint on them. And it was from my brother many years ago. So it's been in the basement. I saw in the bottom of this sleigh that is fairly well known. I can't remember who made those pieces of ceramic, very Christmassy, dark green. You see a, a lot of different pieces. But off the top of my head, I just can't think of who that was again. But I've had it for many years and on the bottom somebody painted the uh, husband and wife name, it sounds like, in 1964. So, wow, that is very old. I just found this Santa, probably 80s Taiwan creamer and somebody must have broke the sugar, but I found him at the thrift store and was perfectly happy to bring it home, very cheap. And I did find these at a thrift store that we haven't been to any more than twice in Pine City, Minnesota. They were $5 and I bought two, at least two other sets there too that were $5, very vintage. I don't typically see those in antique malls even, but I was pretty happy to find them and give them $5. So that was a very neat find. I had thrifted this tall, tall candy jar or apothecary, whatever you want to call it, last year, I think. And both these two votives are the same. I found them for 25 cents each. And Norm bought this really neat, oh boy, I looked up how to pronounce it and it's like nothing the way it's spelled because it's a German word, but you may recognize the pattern. And I don't know if this is vintage or not because some people that are selling it are saying it's vintage, but they don't tell you what year. So Norm got this for me as a surprise in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Yeah, it's really, really a great little retro store. Some fun cookies in a little vintage plastic dish or plate to give it some fun festive effect here on the countertop. I found this votive too, possibly that was also the um, Shalom thrift store could have been. This napkin holder, I'm assuming that's what it was, was like $2.49 at the Pink Squirrel, but it had a lot of little plastic canvas ornaments in it, so it was a good deal. I was after the ornaments, not the napkin holder, but these are vintage napkins. I actually have the cardboard from them. I've had them for many years. Just wanted you to see there is no barcode on it and it's made right here in the Twin Cities or it was made I should say St. Paul, Minnesota. So they are old. It's always fun to show them. I just found this too at Wild Vintage Collective. I put some green tea bags in there. 
that it was the cutest jar. I've never seen that jar before. I really like putting things in jars that are the Christmas ones when you can. It's just fun to look at that for a while. And I just thrifted this carafe in excellent condition. I was very surprised to find that. I can't tell you where it was. I'm just not recalling. I'm in too many stores, too many thrift stores. But we did find a whole bunch of these glasses in big size here and the smaller, about half that size, for 50 cents each at Shalom Thrift when we were there the very first time. We went back a second time, but the first time we had all of those in the cart. You may have caught a glimpse of them in our video that showed that place. You did see this um, before. I think it was put out by Dayton Hudson Corporation. I have the box for it, so I do store some things in there too. Found that mug a couple years ago at a thrift store, and I just thrifted this fun panda bear with all that candy and popcorn at one of the thrift stores. And you saw that I had purchased this just before Halloween and I put Halloween straws in it. Well, I was able to order from Amazon some Christmas straws. So I think that's fun. Oh, and you've seen this over the years in my videos. It's an Arco. And I'm just guessing it's like a decorated whisk broom idea. Yeah, that's pretty cute. So far, I count like 29 of these votives that I have found last year, the year before, and a lot this year. I really was very happy to find so many this year. I've always been looking for them. Let me show you again. I have this little remote. Isn't that fun? That is so fun to have these little candles, tea lights. They're a very bright white, as I had mentioned in the living room video. They're not as yellow, and that's what I wanted, so that's what I search for. I typically buy things through Amazon. So these are all really sweet. I only have one with blue on it, but I got it anyways. They've all averaged about 50 cents because some of them might have been 99 cents and some of them might have been 25 cents. So I'm saying they're all pretty much like 50, 75 cents average. So I have two with the candy canes. I have two dove ones that say Merry Christmas. I have two, I might, I don't know if I have two of those. Two of the bells, I found a second one now, the carolers, it's so cute. But this one's really unique, the house and the tree. Yeah. This bell we had last year and I found, I thrifted those curtains and I have shown them before. That was really fun to find, just one little balance. Maybe somebody made it, probably, but I'm thrilled with it. And I've had that garland in other places in the house, and I've also shared this that I thrifted this um, a, year, a year or so ago. I had it for last Christmas, but I don't think I had it for the Christmas before. It was at Legacy Thrift. It was so cheap. I got it clean and the glitter didn't come off. And you've always seen my pot holders. So I'll show you some more of those later. Let me move the remote there. This is my water. I thrift these cups, different 
holidays. I just love bringing these with me in the car because I, I like flavored water. Nothing fancy, just plain flavored water. And I buy permanent straws for them that can be washed in the dishwasher. And I found this at um, Legacy Thrift. I thought it was so cute. This was a new purchase and I'm not sure if it got in any of my summer videos or not, but it is a wonderful um, thermos, probably by West Bend. I did show you in a thrift video that I found this speedy whip uh, at our local Goodwill where you push that up and down and there's stainless rings down there that have holes in them and must whip cream pretty good. It says patent pending on it. I thought it was showy and fun. My brother gave me this cookie uh, cutter that uh, I'm forgetting I have the box for it. Let me see what I can read on here. 1992 Wilton. Yeah, so my brother gave me this 10 years ago, I don't know. Just thrifted this book at Hutchinson Antique Mall. I thought it was very sweet. Really nice quality book. Lots of beautiful pictures in it. You've seen my uh, ice bucket, vintage ice bucket. This could be 80s too, with the popular goose theme. And this was a fairly new purchase too. I just love that. I think that's so cute. It is not the same as that. It's really sweet, very sweet. Probably found that in an antique mall very reasonably priced and good condition too. And there's the pot holders again and some thrifted little ornaments that I turned into magnets. This little gingerbread boy, I didn't know he was broken, but I didn't care. I still glued a magnet on him anyways, but I thought that dog was really funny. So the dog and the gingerbread boy are new this year. I've had the tree for quite a long time. I just found the larger gingerbread boy and girl magnets this year and they are Hong Kong. And the tiny one actually has a mate and I couldn't find it. It's gotta be mixed in with all my cookie ornaments that I didn't put out this year. So he and she are Avon, I think, possibly more of the hot pads. I'm trying to go a little faster, but I may not be succeeding real well. That one is so pretty. And these do have, I have two that have metallic threads in them. They're not alike. The ones on the other side, the other cupboard. But they're nice with the metallic threads in them. So he was thrifted. And that's just a single salt thrifted, a single gingerbread girl, two girls. The one on the left is a newer find. Of course, they're just oddballs, but that's okay. I think they're still fun to pick up. Very inexpensive at a thrift store. I don't have to have this set. Maybe someday I'll find a mate. So those are the two pot holders that I used up there and I just wanted to give you a glimpse too of the uh, old spice tins that I picked out. This is my favorite when it comes to Christmas look. So that's probably my newest one, the paprika. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for any other shilling ones like that that really look Christmassy. I don't recall running across any others. So I really like that one as being my newest one. And I also found two really nice velour towels this year for a dollar. Yeah, one, one of them didn't have fringe and it had more pine cones on it. But this one had the fringe and I was really happy to find that in such beautiful condition. Very vintage. And I didn't talk about this. Very nice 
Dutch oven or stock pot, would you call it that? And it does have some damage on the lid on the back there, but the inside is very good. I still wouldn't use them anyways. I just wanted them for up on top of the cupboards when I want to use more red. You saw me thrift this for 50, 70 cents, I forget. When I was looking at all those little trivets at the Shalom thrift store, I did just pick this one out. All of them were adorable, but I only picked that one. And this is a little vintage salt and pepper set, very Japan, that I got from Barb at the Hutchinson Antique Mall, where we bought the tablecloth from. They look so old, don't they? She was so reasonable for everything. Yeah, very, very inexpensive. And you've seen my crazy teapot I thrifted too. I just love that. I think it's so cute for Christmas and Easter. This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, I purchased, maybe that was Wild, Wild Vintage Collective. I love that one. It's just so Christmassy. Really, really cute. It's not meant to be Christmas, but it looks like it to me. It's the colors and just a really sweet, quaint pattern. So I don't have a lot of them that are Christmassy colors, but I'm happy with what I have very much. My collection has really grown in the past couple years. I finally decided to buy this ceramic trivet that has been at Goodwill for weeks. There were two of them. And then as I was still continuing to go over to one of those stores in our neighborhood, there was only one left. And I finally decided to take it. I don't know why I hesitated. I had it when it was new. I believe it was an Avon item. There's no markings on the back, but you may be familiar with it. And I thought, how can you let that sit there at the Goodwill when you seem to like gingerbread stuff so much? <laughs> I purchased these this year uh, from uh, the nice lady I was telling you about in uh, Waite Park, Minnesota, the Salvage Sisters. Very reasonable. Man, I couldn't believe it. And I did finally repurchase again. Here we go again. I had this many years ago and it shows up in one of my videos of old kitchen decor for Christmas, along with two other inexpensive ceramic teapots. And that was a newer thrifted item that I did show you last year. I think it's so cute. The spoon is in perfect condition in it. So I just like the fact that it was gingerbread theme. Well, I hope you like my crazy idea this year. I had started finding some bigger pieces like this cute Noel. Did I find that last year? Mm, I think so. But I found the snowman this year. I actually did stick that candy cane in his hand. He's probably not made real great. There's some things about him that I'm questioning, but it was really cheap at Family Pathways in a bag with other ornaments, like square, um, these big square pieces that are meant to be gifts. They did have magnets on the back of them. So I have glued some magnets on backs of some of these that were meant to be ornaments, but I just thought you'd get a kick out of seeing them. I think it's fun when I find little things like this, very tiny ones like that. And the one and only blue piece on here. <laughs> I couldn't leave him off. He was just too cute. Little tiny wreaths, little tiny trees. I love the poinsettia. Nice little Noel pieces all over. 
only one angel. I, the whole thing started because of this couple here. I've had those for many years. They've just been part of my fun extra magnet collection. So this was a fun find. I found a, a package full of them at, you know, different size pieces at another thrift store in Cambridge, Minnesota, I think. And I've had these for several years now and I've not shown them. Somebody did some very nice work on these hanging ornaments and I decided not to take the ribbon off of them but just um, put a magnet on the back. They're very pretty. There's five of them and I found three of those Santas. Two stockings that are crocheted not Needlepoint. No, wait. Three stockings? Two stockings. Yeah, there's another one up above that's smaller. But those are crocheted. This is plastic canvas, of course. So there's a nice little fireplace one. Again, with the gold tiny ribbon on it. And a very pretty piece one. the candle and this was sweet. I was happy finding the snowman. Little candy canes, another Noel sign, another candy cane, a different looking funny Santa. Happy holidays, that's pretty. I'm up against the shelf here so I don't get over in the corner too far easily. A nice little tree. And you saw me purchase this ornament at Hutchinson Antique Mall. And that little teddy bear was a surprise. He was buried in something. Oh, he's got a little blue showing too. Now up here is a, an ice bucket that I purchased many, many, many years ago. I've shown that in all of our videos because I had it way before I started YouTube. But this was a newly thrifted item from uh, our Goodwill, local Goodwill store. I was so happy I even got my discount. And it was probably $4.99 and I got a discount on it, senior discount. But it's a Dayton Hudson Corporation design. And there were glasses there that matched, but I didn't want to buy any more glasses. Yeah, so, and I've also run across plates. I almost purchased some plates the other day. Norm was trying to twist my arm. They were little dessert plates, but I decided not to. And that was fairly new purchase to the double boiler pieces there. Well, you may be surprised that I started a whole new collection just this month. I didn't think I could find all of these vintage trays that I used to have many, many years ago. I do have some old, old photos that I did incorporate into a video that we did a couple years ago at least that was titled um, Christmas's Past. And so that was all music and smaller photos. You may have caught that video and it shows my kitchen of many years back. I don't think I had the teddy bear one years ago and I just love the ones with the holly pattern on them the most and they are often Hong Kong and stamped that. This one with Santa skiing is, I believe, from the Salvation Army, not too far from our house. It was so cheap. But I want you to know, this whole month, I have been digging deep into piles of trays in the thrift stores in order to find these that are often very buried. And you just, you won't see them. If I get a glimpse of one of these cute borders, 
like the holly or the snowflake border, I know right away what it is because I had all of these so many years ago. I will link our other video above that will show you eventually later on in the video when I'm doing kitchen clips that they're from way back when we used to have this collection. I started out with them over the patio door. We had a few of them up there. But the snowman one, yeah, he's, he and she, they're pretty special. But such a cute one. So yeah, I think whatever thrift store I just got that at, they, they knew that was a, a very nice one. I sure like it. Norm thinks it's pretty cute too. It was nice of him to get them up there for me. Did a nice job. Oh, and of course, the purpose too was to clean everything. All the tops of the cupboards and everything that was up there. All of my enamel pots and pans that we took down temporarily. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I sure am having fun. I've had this trivet for uh, several years. And I just happened to find this one when we went to Harmony, Minnesota. And we filmed a very large antique mall called New Generations of Harmony Antiques. And then we went into town a little bit further to a really sweet shop called Bee Balm Consignment and Thrift Store and found some very fun things there. So this was at that shop, and that is also in Harmony. Very fun place. Check them out on Instagram, or if you can get there, it's well worthwhile to visit both places. Wonderful antiquing. And I decided I very much wanted to have some fun putting some washi tape again, trying my hand at it. I did attempt it a year ago for a Halloween video and I didn't get too far, but I was really doing well with this washi tape because I actually found a very good size. What I was getting at Michael's was just not the right size for this shelf. This is very, very weird. It's like 0.6. So you can see that it's just ever so slightly smaller than the shelf. I hope I can focus on the Merry Christmas there. And this one is more like a candy. Yeah, the peppermint candies. And then I purposely did a non-Christmas one up there and the polka dots. So I can leave those for up to Valentine's Day. But I will have to remove the Merry Christmas one if I'm going to do any Valentine things out here. And this one is very funny. Ho, ho, ho. I thought it was so cute. And see, I won't have to do anything with that one. But these down here, so cute, Santa and reindeer. So I hope you think that that has really added some festive fun to the shelving. I think it did. The only thing I kind of regretted was where the punch bowls are, that candy stripe is lighter. I would have preferred that they were all a darker, red. I have a new bread box. I absolutely love it. I bought it through Amazon. It's a very good quality and I had a gold one before, Harvest Gold. My sister said to me uh, she wanted a bread box and I thought, hmm, well that's good. I will ask her if she would take my gold one and then I'll get this new one. So that was like a Christmas present for her. She was thrilled. So let's start looking at some of the things in a little more. 
detail. Let's start with the isolate pictures that we decided on that were pretty much red and green, some white and red. You've seen them in previous years. I was so happy when I found that Holly one, probably last year. And it wasn't expensive either. Wow, it was really great. And the punch bowl sets, another thing that was really fun is that I got to thinking about how nice it would be if I had some of those vintage red hooks because I actually have the red plastic beautiful punch bowl ladle. I should have shown you this first. I know I've shown you that before. It is a lucite plaque. Had it for many many years and you know that my brother gave us this wonderful vintage phone dial phone but anyways i thought wow it would be really fun to have some of those red plastic hooks for the mugs i've never done that before I've never hung up any mugs on the side of these bowls. So obviously we only brought up four of each. That would be crazy. Trying to hang them on these <laughs> shelves here. And if for one thing it would be too heavy. For another, it would cover up the front. And we don't want to do that. So I decided to look it up on Amazon. That's what they had. I bought, and Norm said, get three packages. I was gonna get two packs, but he said, no, just get three. That was a very fun idea. And this is a very nice one. A lot of them are Hazel Atlas, if not all of them. Now, you know, I also was talking and showing how much I was thrifting these candy dishes. I really, really had fun between the votives and the candy dishes. Now that one's just a cute little one I thrifted. Um, bumpy texture on the sides. Um, to fill in, there's a plain candy jar like this one. What I mean by plain is there's no graphics on it like that one. So yeah, we, were, we found um, several at the um, Main Street Antique Mall in Hutchinson. I had that one last year, the little snowman one. I had that one last year, the tall one. Oh, there's a little blue showing there. <laughs> and that one's possibly new, the Holly one. I had thrifted that one probably in the summer months with the candy canes in it, but it's nice to have a taller one for that. There's another one that I showed you I thrifted with a beautiful star pattern on it, on every side. Oh, that is so cool. And another thrift, plain one, but it shows the gumdrops nicely. I've had that in previous years, love that one. And this one, previous years, I do not believe that's new. This very well could be new. It is a different pattern, Holly. It's not like that. And that's a duplicate. I got the other one on the other end. But aren't all of these fun? Now this is a whole new collection over here. Not what's in the window. So I don't have two of those candy cane ones, but I have two others that are match, that are candy canes. So that was fun. I've had this for many years. The other side, yep, I had to turn that around. 
1979. So I had two of them that have a date on them. I have two doves. And there's the other one, 1977. I think the snowman is brand new. Just found it. I think I have two of those. Two of those. Two of those. Oh, there's the second one, like I just showed you. And do I have two of those? Uh, yep. Well, they're a little different. No. Yeah, they're the same. One in each end. On this shelf, many people have this set of glasses. Are they from the 60s? Possibly, judging by the size of them. I think glasses got a little bit bigger in the 70s. But you saw her before. I found her at the Goodwill, and she's a thrifted item. And an older one, Taiwan. This is probably China, but... She was pretty cute. I thought she was fun. I just found this old Santa candle. A lot of people find these. They are Taiwan also. And down below, I had a Target, possibly, Gingerbread Boy, a couple years now. And this I just newly thrifted at that Shalom Thrift for probably a dollar. Yeah, it's really cute. It is also a Target one. I don't like the fact that the handles are more wine colored than red. I like the red red, but it is microwave and dishwasher safe. And this is too. And that was from the um, auxiliary um, in Hutchinson again, where I did have a video showing that I purchased that little cookie jar. And that was... Um, from Yankee Candle. So it was a good quality one. I think it was $6. So here's the rest of my smaller punch bowls. And two thrifted, newer Mrs. Mugs. That one is huge. Just found her at the Goodwill. I couldn't believe she was there. As a matter of fact, Mr. Claus was there. But I didn't really care for him. Um, they were probably made by the same company. But yeah, he just, I don't know. I didn't need him. He was very big. He's not the kind of Santa Claus mugs that I prefer to have. So I don't mind getting the misses just for the fun of it. She is the little bit of a darker red. But she was on sale 75% off, or no, 70% off at Michael's. So she was really cheap. So I thought, well, she'll be fun filler. There are a few mugs that we ended up sticking in there. But I decided to take the rest of them downstairs and not try to fill these up with the, the mugs. I have mugs for all my bowls, and I have shown them before. And these were odd. Um, ones like the ones on the mug rack they were kind of odd ones so that one is so cute I've never seen another one like it or like this one but these are the common ones in the middle you find a lot of those and this is also this could be a is that a Fitz and Floyd design um, are they made in Taiwan too yeah, I can't remember, but I had that picture, thrifted that picture a couple Christmases ago. And on this half, the gingerbread boys are on that half, and this one is two Japan old bears. They're very cute. Well, I know the one on the left is definitely Japan. I better check this. Yep, it is. Huh, <laughs> Target. Isn't that funny? But it is a Japan sticker on it, so... Yeah, he's he's older, too. And you saw me purchase that for very little at the Hutchinson Antique Mall, and we were talking about whether or not that was for your tea bag or your spoon or what. Who knows? I don't know. But it is 
dishwasher and microwave safe. So I thought it was kind of fun purchase and I did give Norm some cocoa in it like I said I would. So here's some more of those glasses. I ended up with so many of those and so many of those same stackable mugs. They're Japan, I believe. This is an Avon set, isn't it? I think so. Let me check. Yep. Oh, 1983. And I have seen it in some people's videos. It's absolutely adorable. I can't remember where I found it, but it was a very good price. Very good. So what else is there? I have on the bottom shelf, we loved the Pyrex Christmassy um, casserole so much when we first found one several years back. We decided to purchase a second one that we also found for a very, very good price, but Norm was kind of treating me to it for a Christmas present several years ago, so I do have one on that side too, and matching um, mixing bowls. Many, many years ago, I purchased those, probably $5 each, I think. It was crazy. And two of the Happy Holidays mugs. So I think you've seen everything here. Oh, I didn't do, I was saving the middle for last. I really was, I was trying to wait. I found her last year and thought she was absolutely adorable. It opens up the long way, which is really funny. And she just was so sweet with a big red nose. So this year, I happened to find the elf in Hutchinson. And then I recently ran across these two little bears. I knew when I saw those that they would really fit in between those three bigger tins. So I really love how that turned out. I just think that's so cute. They're bold and they're big and they're just so Christmassy. I I just had to for their cheap, cheap prices. It's crazy what you can get things for and decorate very cute. There's one last really neat thing I just found on December 20th. It was marked $5.50 at the Family Pathways in North Branch, Minnesota, where we went back up there again. I'm showing you the chain because Norm put a special chain on it for me. He ran over to the hardware store to get just the right length and opened it up to put it over this very wide top ring here, so that was really sweet of him to do. I didn't even realize he had left to run that errand and get it finished for me. I did wash it well, so I was saying it was $5.50, but the reason why we went back up there on the 20th is because all of their Christmas was half price. So I got it for $2.75, right? Isn't that sweet? Yeah, I just thought that would be so neat. I knew this is where I would be putting it. Way up there, that's a vintage um, cast iron owl plant hanger. I've got two of those. The other one is in the kitchen over the sink where the cupboard is. I thought that was really a great find. I can't tell you anything about it. I really don't know the age, but of course I put one of my votives in there. There wasn't anything in there. You could put a regular wax candle in there. That would be cute too. So that is it for our dining room and kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this and again, I'm sorry that I was very late this year. And Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you, thank you so much for your kind support all year.